Phil, this, this is really great after. This is really oh, okay. But with okay. your face up. Can we see yeah. your face a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> like it's really a, a great gift, the caliber of, of actors that uh, sign on to do this. Hey, Woody. What attracted me to this project to begin with, uh, A, it's unlike anything I have ever done before. You know, you get the script and you, look, and you look at the lines and they're so emphatic and pure and enthusiastic. It's, I mean, it's nonsensical. It's probably voodoo. You don't believe in every spirit, you test the spirits. You see which ones are of God. You know, there, there's, there's no cynicism. You know, I feel like I grew up in an age where, where cynicism is, is pretty key to not get your feelings hurt too often. And you realize maybe being overly jaded in nature is, is overrated. CW um, is a child of the Depression, uh, fought in the Korean War. Uh, the guy doesn't take shit from anybody, doesn't really have a filter or much care what people think. Uh, delightful in that way, actually. A lot of fun to play. He's very much in love with his wife at the beginning of the, of the film. I think he actually uh, feels she's the lost love of his life uh, even after he's left her. I get the opportunity as an actress to play this character from about 30 years old to close to 60. The Lord can make good things come out of tragedy. And your family will be strong now with God at the center. You know that. It's really interesting to make that journey because she actually ultimately becomes um, quite religious herself. Ease off the clutch and press the gas. Ease and press. Ease and press. It's like making love, you know? Annika and Corinne's relationship in the beginning is a really great friendship. These are two women who love each other dearly, who share uh, everything, share their thoughts, share advice. Uh, they're not envious of one another. And, um, and she's also giving Corinne a lot of advice always, you know, how to spice it up in the bedroom, you know, how to speak in tongues. She kind of takes her under her wing. And then in the end, you know, when Annika gets sick, the role's kind of reverse and she ends up taking care of me and helping my husband take care of me. Lord, hold her close. Um, give her peace that passes all understanding. The role of uh, adolescent Corinne is, is played by my sister, uh, Thaisa Farmiga. She's, she reminds me of myself at that age. Everything, personality, the way she moves, her physicality, she just reminds me of myself. I actually did not want to rehearse with the two of them. We did have a chemistry read with, with Boyd when we, were, when we were searching for young Ethans. It was apparent. I didn't want to rehearse them to death. I wanted, because she was a first timer, I wanted to capture any nuance and, uh, and magic uh, of performance. Where's the cooler? We grew up in the same family <laughs> with the same issues, you know. Um, she was just the right one for the job. Most of my family is in this film. Certainly uh, my mother, my mother-in-law, my grandmother, my husband, my child, my sister, my sister-in-laws, my cousin. <laughs> A lot of, and they're all very, they're, to me, they're all very gifted and talented and I was making a film about family. It's only natural that my family should, should uh, find their way into it.